Greetings, and welcome to the Movie Recap Vault. In this session, we're presenting a 2015 action, mystery, sci-fi and thriller movie called Selfless. From his high-rise apartment in New York City, Damien Hale, a successful real estate tycoon, gazes over the city. An oncologist prepares to depart and collects her equipment in the background. Damien's life is threatened by terminal liver and lung cancer, and he may have only half a year left to live. During lunch with his closest friend Martin, the two discuss Damien's ailment. Damien tells Martin not to be sorry for him, that Martin was the one who lost a son. Damien says he hasn't told his daughter Claire about it because she won't take his calls. Damien says she has every reason to be angry, and Martin suggests she may feel different if she knew about his cancer. Outside, Damien asks his friend if he's familiar with the concept of shedding, to which Martin only responds you mean like a snake. Damien tells him to forget about it, it's just something he read about. Damien calls his daughter Claire, but only gets her voicemail and hangs up. He glances at a business card for Phoenix Biogenetic. On the back of the card is the text they can help you. Damien then recalls his discussion with the firm's owner, Dr. Albright. The doctor apparently focuses on helping the great, the visionaries live longer and more productive lives. He has devised a technique called shedding, which involves transferring consciousness from one body to another. The corporation offers new bodies, genetically engineered for perfection to anyone willing to pay the extravagant cost. Damien asked the doctor why they have a makeshift lab and all the secrecy. Albright dodged the question and suggested when Damien is gone people will consider what he built to be his legacy and that will make him immortal, but Damien should focus on feeling immortal. In an attempt to make amends before his passing, Damien visits Claire, who oversees a non-profit. Claire asks him what's wrong and tells him he doesn't look well. Damien chooses not to disclose his condition to her. He tells Claire he knows she's short on funds and presents his daughter with an envelope, but Claire believes her father is trying to manipulate her, and she declines the offer. Damien quickly leaves. Disheartened by his unsuccessful encounter with Claire, Damien refocuses on researching the concept of shedding and Phoenix biogenetic. He discovers that the technique's inventor was Dr. Jensen, who wanted to find a way to transfer our mind to a separate body. Suddenly, Damien begins coughing up blood and loses consciousness. An ambulance responds. As Damien's illness worsens, he wakes and realizes he needs to take action. He reaches out to Albright, tells him I don't feel immortal, and schedules the procedure. Albright tells Damien that after the shedding, he won't be able to stay in touch with anyone that knew him prior to the shedding. Damien is told to go to New Orleans and pretend to pass away, and to do it publicly. He's told what restaurant to do it in, and Albright recommends he order chicory coffee. While flying to New Orleans the next day, Damien calls Martin and requests to meet him for lunch. Damien visits a cemetery and buries a box before meeting Martin. Damien apparently has a seizure while having lunch with Martin, causing Martin to become frightened and call 911. Damien is brought to a Phoenix biogenic facility in the ambulance, not the hospital. The ambulance attendants suggest they have 20 minutes to transfer Damien's consciousness to the new body and then deliver his old body, dead on arrival, to the hospital. Damien is asked to confirm that all metals have been removed from his dental work and body, as the machine will not function otherwise. Damien confirms he has no metal. He's then given medication to stop his heart and put in the machine, surrounded by bright lights and scary sounds. As he lays there, he can feel his heart racing as the procedure begins. After a short time, Damien's mind's eye is now in the younger body. He sickened when looking at his old corpse near him, as the technicians cover its head with a sheet. The doctor lets him know it will be several days before he begins to feel comfortable in his new body. He shows Damien an online obituary with a picture of his old self. Damien begins to witness objects changing form and images of horses. He undergoes physical therapy to adjust to his new body. Damien must also learn the life story of Edward Kidner, the persona Albright created for him to use in his new body. He adjusts quickly and begins to enjoy his new, attractive appearance. However, he experiences ongoing hallucinations and headaches. Albright gives Damien pills he must have or he may risk death. Damien needs to stay in New Orleans or Albright won't give him more pills. Damien is brought to a spacious house in New Orleans that is now his new residence. He's given money, a car, and told to enjoy himself, he's earned it. Damien, now known as Edward, meets Anton while playing basketball nearby. Anton suggests Damien meet him at a club that night. Enjoying the approving glances from beautiful women, Damien quickly begins new routines of socializing, sports and enjoying himself with multiple ladies. Damien becomes unsatisfied with his new routine. Distracted by his sadness of not being able to visit his daughter Claire, 
he forgets to take his pill and begins to hallucinate. His mind is plagued by images of a soldier, a water tower painted like a pumpkin, and a lady with a sick child. Damien begins to believe the images are not hallucinations, but memories. Damien tells Albright about his troubling visions. The doctor suggests the thoughts are just garbled emotions and memories. The doctor wants him to refocus and gives Damien airline tickets to Hawaii and increases the dosage of medication. Damien concealed that the woman was Latina, leading him to distrust Albright and suspect that something is amiss. To seek answers, he searches online for the pumpkin water tower and discovers an identical structure located in a small town near St. Louis. In an attempt to outsmart Albright, Damien decides to travel to St. Louis instead of Hawaii. Prior to departing, Damien visits the cemetery and unearths the box he had buried. The box contains valuables he takes with him on his way to the airport. Although one of Albright's associates tails him, Damien successfully eludes the individual and boards a flight to a town near the water tower. After locating the water tower he notices a home nearby. Nobody answers the knock on the door, so Damien walks inside and begins snooping. He finds medical bills, a respirator, and photographs of the mother and daughter from his hallucination, as well as a picture of his current self. After seeing the picture of the man that looks like him in his new body, Damien realizes his new body was not a product of genetic engineering. Madeline, the mother of the child, walks slowly into the room and threatens to shoot Damien from behind. He cautiously turns around, causing her to collapse in tears because she'd believed Mark was deceased. Damien tries to clarify what's happening. Anton tells Damien that Madeline's husband, Mark, had agreed to sell his body in exchange for money to cover his daughter's medical bills. Damien is stunned by this revelation, as he thought his new body was genetically engineered, not a body that had a life and family before. However, Anton responds coldly with a heartless metaphor, likening Damien's anger to discovering a car he recently purchased already had some miles on it. Anton advises Damien not to return to the house, as Madeline will likely be killed and her property burned down. Damien decides to outsmart Albright's goons and rescue Madeline. He neutralizes several of Albright's men before waking up Madeline. Anton and his cronies attempt to set the house ablaze, but Madeline and Damien manage to get into the crawlspace below the house and soon kill all of them. After leaving the house, Damien pretends to be Madeline's husband, telling her that he agreed to do some shady stuff to afford Anna's medical bills. Together, they set out to rescue Anna, who is currently at school. When they reach the school, Anna rushes toward Damien and embraces him, shouting with glee that she always knew her dad wasn't dead. The trio check into a motel and Damien does some online digging on Phoenix Biogenic. Apparently, Albright was a student of Jensen's. Damien also uncovers the whereabouts of Phyllis, Jensen's spouse. With no pills, Damien suffers from a migraine and starts remembering random images. The following day, they drive to where Jensen's wife is residing at a nursing home. Damien pretends to be a student conducting research on Jensen's work and requests the doctor's old papers and documents. Given Phyllis's condition of Alzheimer's, she considers Damien a legitimate student and reveals shocking information. With the new information, Damien now believes Jensen is using Albright's body. Damien gets Phyllis to call Albright and ask him to visit her. Damien demands more pills from Albright, at gunpoint. Albright explains that the more pills Damien consumes, the more Mark fades away. However, Damien's mind will fade into nothingness without the pills, and Mark's mind will re-emerge. Damien insists Albright takes him to the lab so he can get more pills. However, while leaving the building, Albright's crew arrives and takes Damien's weapon away. Outside, during a scuffle, Madeline knocks one of Albright's men out cold. Damien notices the unique medallion on the man's necklace and realizes it's Anton in a fresh new body. Assuming Anton in the new body after shedding must be taking the red pills he wants, Damien searches his pockets and takes Anton's container of pills. After Damien and Madeline get into the car and escape, Madeline insists they pull over once they're out of danger. She wants to understand what's happening and why. They get out of the car and Madeline quizzes Damien about their daughter and life together, but he can't answer her questions. Damien realizes he must tell Madeline the truth and begins to explain what's happening, while Anna is watching from inside the car. Madeline gets enraged at Damien for using her and her daughter. Now she'll need to explain to Anna that her dad is actually a stranger. Damien decides to try and get Martin's help to find a safe spot for Madeline and Anna. Damien convinces him that everything he's saying is real by spilling some details that only they know about. After Martin is convinced that it's Damien in Mark's body, he agrees to help them escape the dangers. While waiting for Martin to arrange their escape, Damien begins connecting with Anna and they have fun while he shows her how to swim. 
Madeline appears happy watching the two. Madeline starts to feel physically drawn to Damien, given he's in her husband's body. She wants to listen to his heart and even plants a kiss on him. Damien decides to steer her away from thinking about Mark. He tells her about his old life and his relationship with his daughter Claire. They have a really honest and deep chat. Damien suddenly realizes that all the mirrors in the house have covers over them. He knows that Martin lost his son a couple of years back and starts getting a feeling that there's a problem. He dashes around looking for Anna, who's found in a big playroom with another child. Suddenly, it hits him, Martin must have brought his kid to Phoenix Biogenetic 2 and gotten him a new body. Damien then discovers that Martin told Albright they were at his house, and now a gang of assassins is waiting outside, ready to snuff them out. But Damien isn't taking it lying down. He steps up to Martin and lets him know that his kid's new body wasn't just genetically engineered in a lab it belonged to somebody else's real child. Martin is in disbelief when he hears what's going on and decides to do the right thing by helping them. He leads Madeline and Anna through a forest on foot to safety, while Damien drives off as a decoy. A wild car chase ensues with Albright's goons close on Damien's trail, trying to kill him. They shoot at each other and crash their cars. Damien checks to make sure the bad guys are all dead before heading to the diner to meet Madeline, Anna and Martin. Unfortunately, only Martin shows up. Martin tells Damien that Madeline and Anna were ahead of him in the forest and got picked up by a stranger in a car. Apparently, the stranger was actually one of Albright's goons, and they were kidnapped. Martin was too far away to do anything to stop it. Martin tells Damien that he intentionally placed the business card from Phoenix Biogenetic to assist him. Additionally, he finds out that Martin has deciphered the formula for Albright's pills and has the ability to create them independently. However, Damien begins to question the idea of taking the pills, as he realizes that by doing so, he is causing harm to Mark. Damien decides his current priority is to rescue Madeline and Anna. To achieve this goal, he plans to refrain from taking a pill for the next 12 hours, with the hope of utilizing Mark's memories to uncover additional information about the lab's whereabouts. While going through withdrawal, Damien envisions a Mardi Gras float storage facility near Albright's lab. He decides to visit New Orleans to explore. He locates the lab around a corner from the Mardi Gras float storage facility. Damien enters the lab building and neutralizes a few guards without drawing any attention. While checking the facility he discovers two new bodies in the room where the consciousness transfer machine is located. Albright suddenly shows up behind a glass wall and says that Madeline's body was a perfect match for a new customer, and that Anna's organs won't go to waste. This infuriates Damien, and he shoots at the glass to try and break it. But before he can do any more damage, two of Albright's henchmen arrive and disarm him. Now, Anton's consciousness is set to be transferred to Damien's body. But before getting into the machine, Damien discreetly swallows a bullet. Suddenly, Anton wakes up in Mark's body. Albright becomes skeptical and asks Anton questions to ensure that it's really him. Once convinced, Albright orders him to eliminate Madeline and Anna. However, Anton enters the room with the intent to kill the guards instead, and ends up saving the mother and child. Damien was actually in Mark's body all this time. The three of them make a run for it and take on Albright's men in a fierce fight. Eventually, in a room separated from Albright by a glass wall, Damien informs the doctor that he had paid close attention to the instructions given before the first procedure, and remembered that having metal on the body would cause the transformation to fail. Therefore, he swallowed a bullet to ensure that he remained in Mark's body. Albright assumes that Damien won't harm him because he is the only one who knows the formula for the pill. But little does he know that Martin has already cracked the code, and can provide Damien the pills. Damien uses a torch to burn Albright alive. Once they flee the lab, Martin finds a safe place for Anna and Madeline to stay, but Damien decides not to go with them. Damien visits Claire. He pretends to be a friend of her father's and opens up to her. He tells her that her father expressed regret for not spending enough time with her as a child and that he was very proud of her. He then hands her an envelope and leaves. Mark wakes up in a hotel room, feeling disoriented. He stumbles upon a video of himself on a computer screen and realizes that Damien's no longer in his body. The billionaire had chosen to stop taking the pill and let Mark take back control of his own life. Mark is understandably stunned, but also extremely grateful for the opportunity to reclaim his body. Mark reunites with Madeline and Anna, who are now living a peaceful life on a gorgeous tropical island.